What is up, everybody? Welcome to a new calendar series that I want to be doing pretty much towards the end of every week. Uh, I don't want to be doing too much because it'll take up on other series, but it is Stonehearth. Now, if you have no idea what Stonehearth is, uh, it's a cool little, um, like kind of like more 3D Minecraft. Look, there, you can see the kind of people there. Um, they are the it's like a cool village simulator game that I played. Eesh, about a year back, um, when it came, well, I played it when it came out. I played it for a couple of months when it came out, and uh, I loved it. But I had to delete it off my Steam library because I needed to install some other games, and I don't really have a lot of memory space on my computer. You bastard! But we will be starting a new kingdom. This, wait, wait no, <clears throat> let me put on my posh person, person voice. This is the story of a brave band of settlers from the Ascendancy. A prosperous and industrial kingdom. Seeking new lands and adventure, they set off to Darkmoor Forest, a location that is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. That was my. Uh, I kind of sounded like um, the the posh German, posh German, the posh Rome robot from Future Armor. Then, so who have we got with us? We've got one, two. <laughs> that guy looks Irish. That's how that's how that's how much I like this game. It's just like boom, Irish. We got Last of the Mohicans over here. I'm not happy with your hairstyle. Get have a proper hairstyle. That's what I want. I want a prop. Ah, oh shit, wrong one. Come on, what have we got? Give him some good hairstyles. Is that no? Don't lock it in. Hmm. Oh, that one. <laughs> That one's just funny. Uh, no, we'll give him this one. Yeah, lock that in. Oh, you can actually lock in other things as well. Facial hair. Right, mutton chops over there we're going to keep. Uh, Lee, we're going to keep. That, you look too similar. So, let's give you some proper... Let's give you, like, a beard. Uh... Yeah, no. Let's give you, let's give you like the the bushy survivalist beard, and we'll go with that hairstyle. Uh, and do you know what? We're gonna change your hair color. Oh, <gasps> yes. You're gonna be, you're gonna be fuck. Yes, you're the Scotsman. We'll find a better name for you. You can actually rename all of your characters, which I like. But um, just before we do that, let's go over what you might you might be going. What the hell is this mind body spirit thing? Um, each one represents a different attribute that can help them with jobs does it is a glass half oh he's a pessimist i like trevor uh, trevenian or whatever he's called i like that guy that i should call him me but i'm not going to but yeah so mind um helps them with like farming tasks and crafting and all that kind of stuff body is not only their health but like the courage and all that kind of stuff and spirit is how good they are at fighting and staying in the fight because you will have to defend against the um, the people out there, like the goblins and stuff. So we have Sunini, Tulip, Chopper, all right, Navin, Maggie, a my Scottish man, who I could probably call Scotty McScott Scott, uh, and Lee Riley. That name actually sounds real. Okay, and he's a cultist. Bunny... Go oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, but we're going to keep these guys. These will be our awesome people. Is she... Oh, walks a bit faster than... Oh, oh, but she carries less. Oh, you're pathetic. So let's accept that roster and move on to where we want to go. I'm going to go Merchant Caravan. Now, this has changed. Uh, it used to be where this is over here with the Merchant Caravan, blah, 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 blah. It used to be um, you would see a bunch of different things that you could pick. So all this would be lined out and you had like 100 gold or whatever and you could choose. Uh, it looks like they've just come for a couple of them now. So we've got food for days, uh, merchant caravan and money all solves all problems. I'm going to go with merchant caravan because even though I want to do some farming, it is a good idea that I get my footman out who helps defend us my herbalist protects us so heals us and all that kind of stuff and my trapper uh, hunts animals so i can get food that way as well which is going to be awesome 
Now it will take a little bit for the map to load because the map can be quite annoying. Um, but I tend to try and find a place that I can bunker up. It's kind of something that I've... Well, I could actually just go here because we are stuck behind two mountains, which is actually awesome. And I will actually probably do that. Yeah, I will actually. We're going to go down here. Uh, we'll go up a little bit. Now, it shows you like trees and plants, wildlife, all that kind of stuff. You're not limited to, like, if we bring out the full length of the square. Let's just stick the full length of the square in the corner like that. We're not limited to what's in the square. We can venture out and explore everything else and create new villages and stuff. And eventually, it's just like one massive city. Um, but for starting, we're going to go there. Yep, we're going to go pretty much in that little canyon uh, because it makes it a little bit different. Di different. It makes it a little bit difficult for the enemies to get to us because they've got to climb over a mountain and stuff. So it gives me time to build up. Uh, your halflings will get a better night's sleep if you provide beds for them. Yeah, that one's obvious. Look at that guy in the background though. He's like, I have the sword. Oh wait, no, he'd be more. He wouldn't be like old man. He'd be more heroic. He'd be like, I have the sword. Yeah, that's that. No, nobody looks like that. Don't worry about it. Nobody in the game's got like this weird kind of anime style hair. Mind you, it'd be pretty awesome if they did. Then again, I'd rather have my blocky people than this guy. So I will actually have to be using my keyboard for this, which is something I like. Ah oh, ha ha ha, my keyboard helps me move around. Uh, we can zoom out and we'll see where we're at. So I could come and settle on the edge of the world, but I'm not going to. I could settle on this side of the lake, but I'm not going to. Uh, I could, you know... Oh, okay, I was actually wrong. We do only play in that small area on the square. Oh, it never used to be like that. You used to be able to venture out across the entire map. Alright, so I guess we're on a bit of a small map this time, but uh, we're going to settle down here. Right... Here, next to some trees. Gold Crossing shall now be small... Shireton. That's what we're calling it. Small Shireton. Because I just happen to live in the place that um, Lord of the Rings is based off. And no, not New Zealand. A place in England. Uh, so we're going to go with 10 by 10 because we're going to start by putting our food in there. Uh, you have to designate some zones. So we have farming, trapping, um, animal pasture. But this is where we stockpile some stuff. And I'm going to do that and give it a whole 20 by 20 because we're going to need to stick resources in there. Uh, we are jumping into this pretty damn fast. So let's cut down some trees. That's what we have to do. So we got to harvest and da da da, -da. Look at that. Now there are some other things like stone and plants that we can harvest and all the fun stuff. Uh, that is good because we c the herbologist uses them. As I'm, I'm not calling it a herbalist. I'm calling it a herbologist because fucking Harry Potter and shit. Uh, and we will want to kick this into a bit of high gear because we don't want people walking around. Look at you. Go chop a tree, you bastard. So we've got food. That is good. Uh, we don't have food for days. Boy, I guess. That, no, uh, I'll never say that again. Yeah, those uh, people like to chat on this. It's kind of weird. It never used to be like that, actually. It never People never used to converse and all that kind of stuff. It was just they'd go about their daily lives. Mining, getting me some stone. There he is. Scotty McScott Scott. Uh, dropping some wood down there. That is awesome. Now, we do, we can, ha we do, sorry, let's go this way. We do have a bunch of preset buildings, aka Cottage for Two, Dining Hall, Shared Sleeping Quarters, and a Tiny Cottage. Each one of them is a specific size and requires a specific amount of materials and stuff. These are all the people we have, so we don't have them yet because we have to assign roles to the people. So we have Carpenter, uh, Weaver, Mason, blacksmith, cook, craft, or chef, potter, uh, herbalist, and engineer. I have no idea what the engineer does. Apparently he's supposed to make contraptions to help defend against stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I never got that far. But we can check out and assign some roles to the people here. So where is my people? I kind of want to make him No, right? I know who you can be, and hopefully you don't die in the process from doing this, but you are going to be our footman. You are going to be our William Wallace protecting the land from evil. Uh, and we will need a trapper. Oh, a traveler approaches here. We will need a trapper. So what's, what have we got here? Uh, hothead. 
Ugh. She never backs down from a fight. Uh, can move mountains. They can carry more in their packs, but walk slightly slower when it's full due to the weight. Yeah, do you know what? We're going to make you our trapper because I need you going out there and uh, getting me some food. Boom. There you go. So we will set down a, a place for trapping uh, when she gets that. So a grizzly traveler approaches. Welcome to the area, folks. Goodness, you people look starved. Here's something to help. A basket of tuli tuli tur tulips, turnips, and a basket of berries. Thank you for that, my dear friend. There he is. Scotty McScott Scott. He is patrolling. He will patrol the uh, areas to stop uh, goblins from stealing our stuff. Yeah. Goblins steal our shit on this. It's hilarious. So, uh, that person hasn't become a trapper yet, have they? Oh, you have. Stupid me. I forgot it's not a thing. Uh, so, we, as you can see, we've got like some foxes out here and stuff. I'm going to trap just at the edge of the woods here. I'm going to do a full... Uh, do you know what? Let's do 25 by 30. There you go. Go set your traps. Yeah. They'll go set traps. Animals will fall into it and kind of all that fun stuff. Ugh. Why are you crying? I don't know. You're crying for some reason. Uh, but we now need a carpenter or so we will not have a place for people to sleep. So, who are we going to make our carpenter? Uh, just going off the attributes, it looks like our best person is one of these. So, Lee, Nave, or Sanine. Well, I'm going to save Na Navin. I'm just going to rename him to Gavin, I think. Yeah, I'm going to rena so, rename him. I'm going to save him for another... Another footman because he's good overall. So you will be our carpenter. Ta-da! So she will go and level up and then I can build a place for people to sleep. Because sleeping on the ground is not good. Nope, not good at all. There we go, there's our little trap. And is that a little bunny? It's a little bunny. Look at it, it's a little bunny. Oh, you're going to be tasty. And there's a fox. So, you know, the, the good thing about the Trapper, when I zoom back out, um, the Trapper can actually game, a, a game gain a friend, uh, an animal friend. Yeah, you guys need to eat, so go eat. Uh, they, like, from doing, when they level up, because they do level up, uh, they gain a little, a little friend who they go out on adventures with and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Fucking idiot fox. You are pretty dumb. Yeah, I know. We're going to kill a fox. Snared. Trapped by snare and unable to move. Oh, it's night time. So everybody's going to sleep. Do you know what? Let's super speed past this. Because it's boring. Nobody does anything at night. I'm pretty sure one of my people is a night owl. Um, but I don't trust them. To do anything. Really. Anything at all. Wee, there we go. Is, are you? Oh, people are actually working. Scotsman, Scotsman's on the prowl. That is awesome. Our trapper should be going over there to sort some shit out, but apparently it is not. Ah, there we go. Yep, we got some fox pelt and some other stuff. Let's uh, let's pick up these plants. All right, they've already been mined, and let's get these trees carrying at the back. The more wood we have, the better. Uh, and let's claim this stuff as well. Because it's a good bit of stone, and I actually do need uh, plants. Plant, plant matter is a fun thing. We can use it to make wool and stuff when we get a proper person. Do we have this craftsman? Yes, we do. Okay, craft person. Build me a carpenter's cottage. Build me a carpenter's cottage right here. We're going to build that right there. Now we can actually go in and edit the carpenter's cottage. Um, and they do have their, their tool benches in there. Which is why I like repurposing this. Because, oh crap, I pressed R. I did not mean to press R. R, by the way, sends everybody into town defensive mode. Yeah. 
So, um, <clears throat> oof. I am going to remove that because we don't need it yet. We can't build it yet. Uh, and I'm also going to remove that because it is a pain in my arse trying to build one of them. Uh, but yeah, they will build a carpenter's workbench. They'll go put it down and they will build. So let's get our first building in. Ooh, and our daily update. So the daily update shows you our net worth to get a uh, another person. So we need 50 food and 550 net worth, which is just uh, it's kind of like the value of things, I guess you could say. Oh, we do actually have some stuff to make. Yeah, okay, awesome. Silkweed is used to help make um, like bedding and stuff. It, it goes into all that kind of fun stuff. We, yes, we did. It, oh, oh no, she's putting down another trap. It looked like we'd captured something then. I could put down another trapping area, uh, but I won't. Not yet. So these people are going to go to town, and there's that workbench. Uh, the workbench will go down, which is awesome, and then they will use it to build the rest of the house. Which I approve of all the same. And is that Scotsman? Yeah. Scotty, Scotty McScotsman's all down there. Now it's pretty awesome um, that they build scaffolding. This is why I like this game. They build scaffolding to get to the roof of the house. And I can actually change the way we see it. So you can actually see the scaffolding going up. And all the fun stuff. They build ladders. It's awesome. I love this game. It's so fun to just watch people build a tiny little carpenter's shack. I don't know, it's weird, but it's fun all the same. Uh, but we will actually slice this a little bit, so we don't have to deal with a lot of crap. Oh, that's our trapper. Uh, our snare trap has been set, yet only one has captured anything. The other two have gone off, so the other the animals must have escaped somehow. Knowing my look. Yes, we know. We love trees. What's going on with trees? I don't know. Trees. Trees. Oh, berry. <gasps> Bushes. Oh, thank you for reminding me. All right. There we are. Uh, I zoom in too fast. These bushes have fruit on them, which our people can collect and sustain themselves with. So we will... Damn, we can't harvest them. Can harvest them. Let's harvest those berry bushes. Any other little berry bushes around here? Apart from up there and up there. Oh yeah, by the way, Bunny God. There he is, Bunny God. Obstruct, oh, do it. Obstruct by a tree, but Bunny God all the same. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why the creator put that in. It's just funny. Uh, do you know what? We're going to jump back down because it's daytime. We're going to jump back down to number two. Look at that. Do you know what? Let's jump back to Full House. Look at that. Build, my people. Build. Uh, but let's just leave it at that. Because... We do not want them. Ah, crap. I closed the game. Bit like that. No, I do not want them um, having a terrible time. Getting stuck on the roof. There's a thing about this game where the people can be stuck on the roof. It's not fun. Uh, they just get stuck there because they're idiots. And you have to build a separate ladder next to it so they can figure out how to use a fucking ladder. It's absolutely preposterous. It's abs it's hilarious because you're like, how the hell did you manage to get stuck on a goddamn roof? But at the same time, you're like, get off the fucking roof. So are we almost done with this building? Let's have a look. Okay, so we need... There we go. The second part of the roof is going in now. Or the second roof because we have the little garage roof. That's awesome. And Scotsman, of course, uh, if you're wondering why Scotsman isn't helping, it's not in his job description. They actually do have traits that they will do in a job. So everybody will help build, farm, whatever, carry. Well, no, sorry, not farm. Everybody will help build and carry. Uh, that is how it goes at the minute. But if we go into this and jump onto our fighter, as you can see, he will haul, so he will move stuff around, and he will do his job. He will not mine, and he will not build. Neither will our trapper, and our person here will help mine, but will not. Will not. Uh, sorry, we'll build, but not mine. So this is almost done. We just need to stick in this. This needs to be stuck in. And they're tearing down the... Uh... Yes, they are. They're tearing down the scaffolding. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, I can also move this, which I like. I can go and stick it somewhere fun. And are we out of food? Bollocks, we're out of food. Someone needs to go and mine them. Oh, I can move them. I can move them close. 
and we actually have a fox and nothing else. Okay, that's a shame. Yep, out goes the trapper. That is what I like. Would someone please put in the the workbench? I guess not. I guess it's going to take a little bit of time for people to figure out that they need to put in the workbench, or else the door cannot be built, or the... Wait, is the window, is it? No, the windows are not in. Come on, guys, you know the drill. Stick it in. Hey, that's what she said. Okay, that's done. Will someone someone put this in? See, it's supposed to go there. Oh. There we go. Now the carpenter has a workbench to work on, and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that fun stuff. Sweet. Where is our carpenter? Is she our carpenter? Yeah, see, there she goes. Do, 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 do. And what's she building? She has built a chair. Uh, yeah, let's slice this chair. There, belongs there. And she's put it there. Like a moron. <laughs> and uh, I put the carpenter's cottage here for a reason. Because it's close to my resources. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yes, people are hungry. So we have to go and harvest these things. Come on, we need them harvested. Have you got everything? Yep, we've got them all there. Yeah, we can't cook at the minute, which is a shame. Because uh, we don't have a chef, so we've got no one to go ahead and cook us the, the fun stuff. Are you out there, Gary, gathering berries? Yeah, you are, you beautiful bastard. You're supposed to bring them... Oh, we have no place to put the food. That's me being an idiot, so let's do another one here, which is obstructed by that thing. So let's do a 9x9, nine nine, and that's where we'll stick food and drink. There we are. Hey, and we've even got a little bed. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to assign that bed to a proper person. Because it is the carpenter's cottage, it will be assigned to the carpenter. That is that is fun. That is awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, I like it like that. I don't know why I'm singing that song. Food is people... Uh, Come on, there's a there's a sack of berries right here that needs picking up. Basket of berries. Common on the caveman diet. Oh, okay. Caveman diet. Nope, no one gonna go No one going nope, no one's harvesting the berries. That is a shame. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Are you just munching on them? You son of a bitch! That's just... What a wanker. Had the ability to bring the entire basket of berries back. And doesn't. Yeah, all right. Our people are hungry. Can we find... I'm sure there's a, a list of jobs that they're supposed to be doing that you can actually prioritise over. Hey, you've a trapper level one. Congratulations. We don't need that. We need we need people going out getting the food. Daily update. Two... F fuck's sake. Come on! You're gonna, you're all gonna starve to death because you're not going out. Oh! Now this time, actually pick the berries and don't just leave them there. You son of a bitch! Oh no, you're taking the basket. Thank God. Okay, people are in the process of picking up this wood. That's why. Shit, I can't remember where you find the. The, ah, balls. I don't know where it is. There is a uh, a queue, I think. Uh, oh well, well I don't know where it is. But oh, oh, are you picking the berries? No. Please, somebody pick the goddamn berries. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Who are? Hey, if you're the trapper. You're the trapper, and you're doing jobs that other people should be doing. Congratulations, you are awesome. I'll find a different name for you. Yes, there we go. People are coming over and getting the berries. Get the berries. The berries. Take the berries back. Please pick up the baskets of berries. Nope, you're just going to sit down and eat some berries. Hey, the trapper's taking the berries back. That trapper's awesome. That trapper probably just saved everybody's fucking lives. Where's everyone else? Oh, everybody's going over to the berry bushes. Okay, I can actually move the berry bushes closer, uh, which I will do eventually, so we have berries to pick at a uh, closer distance. But we're at the end of today's episode. It is, as always, it is the first long episode. 
So, if there's anything you want to see in this, like if you want to rename someone, or if you want a specific place built somewhere else, or or you want someone given a job, uh, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. But until then, thanks for coming out to the first episode of Stonehearth. I hope you will stick around for many, 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 many more. Hopefully these buggers don't kill themselves trying to find food. Look at that. Is that is that our trapper? No, it's not. That's just a dickhead. Uh, but until then, thanks for coming along, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.